Hey guys, what is going on? Look at what I bring you guys today. I bring you guys a new tool that was just released on the market here in the last few months. So this is a new tool introduced by launch. It's called the Think Diag. Basically what it is, it's a, it's a tool downloadable to an Android device. You can see right here, you do have to purchase this this piece right here. This is the piece that plugs into your OBD2 port on your vehicle. This is what communicates back and forth between your car and obviously whatever device you're going to put this software on. So anyways, uh, I got to be honest with you, I'm very impressed with this software. Um, it does everything that the OEM dealer level software does. Um, so yeah, I've been extremely impressed with it. So, basically what I did is um, they went ahead and provided me with a one-year subscription anyway. So, you're going to have to obviously go out and purchase uh, your, you know, your subscription-based software if you want to do that. But basically, it, 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 it allows you to pretty much scan any vehicle pretty much in the whole world. I mean, if you look here, we've got America. Then we go here to Europe. Then we go to Asian, then we go to Chinese. Then basically, I mean, it's got so many different makes and models that I've never even heard of, which is kind of incredible if you ask me. So, and then you've got all your Asian vehicles there. And obviously a lot of Asian vehicles that I've never even heard of too. Then you've got all your European vehicles. Does everything from Maserati, the Maybach, Land Rover, you know, Vauxhall, stuff that I've never even heard of, Volvo, Volkswagen. Um, basically, this this software here is pretty much a clone software of the X431V. I've got a friend that has got the X431V, and the software is virtually identical. So let's go ahead and try this out on this uh, Dodge Charger here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and scan our vehicle. So being that this is a Dodge Charger, we want to go ahead and go to American, then go to, where the hell is Chrysler? Then go, to, then go to Chrysler, which is right here. And basically you want to hit OK. And you can hear the dongle beep. You want to go to 16 pin connector, automatically search. And obviously it found the vehicle. It's got the VIN number right there. And basically what we can do from here uh, is we can go ahead and do a health report. Turn the ignition key to the on position, which it already is. Okay, and so basically what it's going to do now, it's going to go ahead and scan through all the modules for any fault codes. And this, this could take up to a few minutes for it to do on some vehicles, depending on how fast, you know, the, the camp bus is on the, the vehicle. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. Okay, so we got done scanning all our modules on our car. The only issue that we have with this car here is we have uh, the ABS, the ESP, and the track light on. So basically it all comes down to this code right here, the U140E code, you can see right there on the ABS module. And all these other codes are from me trying a different module in the car. So as you can see, we don't have any other codes other than what is associated with that anti-lock brake control module. So basically what we can do is we can go in, we can go ahead and clear all these codes hit OK. It's going to go through. It's going to go ahead and clear all the codes. And you can hear it beeping. It's clearing the codes. So everything is done. Everything is cleared. So basically what we can do now is go back, we 
can select system. Let's go into the anti-lock brake controller. So the problem that we keep having with this uh, vehicle here is we keep having this code that keeps popping up. The U140E, the implausible vehicle configuration data received. Basically what that is, is there's, there's an issue with the ABS module itself. So basically what we can do is we could we can go back and basically if we try to clear these codes it's not going to do anything. Want to clear it? Sure. Memory cleared. Go back in. This is no DTCs. But if we read it again, that code will be there. There it is. So obviously we know that's a hard fault, and we obviously know that's a communication issue. Um, and let's say, for example, if you want to pull up module information, we can pull up the module information because this car here uses a very particular module and they're not very, very, very common on these. So I can go actually pull up the module number and the ECU number that I need, the 047794928J. The one that I have is a 2AG, so I need a 2AJ. If I can find a 2AJ, then I know that we can get this thing taken care of and get those lights off. So what's kind of cool about this too is uh, we can actually go into uh, basically where is it? We can actually we have to go in here to, for the skim code. Basically, if you're programming, um, you know, new remote re new remotes for the vehicle, or let's say for example you want to add another key, go into special functions here. And I actually just added two keys of this car, and I had to go I had to go to the dealer and we had to get the, uh, the the code for the car so and obviously we can program an ignition key skim only and that's what you would have to do if you're actually using this and obviously we can check vehicle identification number and obviously 91989 is the correct VIN number we don't want to do anything so basically it gives you pretty much anything that you want to look at, especially on these uh, Chrysler vehicles. And I mean, this thing will do any, any and all bi-directional function controls that you need to do. So we're gonna look at some basic other quick functions on this. Let's go ahead and go to PCM. And uh, let's go to, where is it, data? We can look at pretty much any anything on the engine here that you want to look at in terms of data right here. Each one of these are what we refer to as PID. So you can select one or you can select all based on what you want to see uh, data-wise. So let's go ahead and back back out here. And obviously you can go to do some actuation test and see what it offers basically you can go ahead and kill each injector one two three four obviously the ASD fuel pump relay you can look at the, you can kill the injectors five six seven eight you can obviously kill the AC compressor I mean basically you can do any bi-directional function test that's allowed from the manufacturer on whatever vehicle you're trying to look at or trying to scan so special functions here let's see what this is so basically we can check the, the PCM odometer right here let's see how many miles are on this we'll go to mile this engine cannot be running see right there 156.228 so and that's where we're going to pretty much leave this guys really appreciate everybody joining me here today uh, I know if you, you have, you're going to ask where I purchased the software like I said this software was provided to me with the tool so I'm not too sure how much the software is going to cost you for this unlocked version that I have so I really can't tell you 
but on, on another note too you're going to have to have basically a tablet or you know an android phone that you can download the software too and this this uh tablet here i actually purchased at walmart it was about a 70 dollars tablet at walmart but it works perfect for this and this is basically what i'm dedicating uh this tablet to be used for just for diagnostics so but i really appreciate everybody joining me here today please like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one see ya